Just a cool, dry, quiet Thanksgiving around here, but the weather pattern gets a little bit more active tonight into tomorrow. It's 52 in Birmingham, looking down toward Children's of Alabama from here atop Red Mountain and from atop Oak Mountain earlier today. You can see that beautiful sunrise from King's Chair. Thanks to David Graves for that beautiful image as the clouds were just thin enough to see the pretty colors to start the day on uh, WVTM 13 live Doppler. We don't have rain in central Alabama, but if you look way out here to the west, right on the edge of our range south of French Camp in Kosciuszko, Mississippi, down around Noxipater, Louisville, there are some isolated showers. Most of that activity nowhere near the ground because the air is so dry between the base of the cloud and where we are. But some of this rain that's out over Louisiana is headed into Mississippi and western Alabama overnight into tomorrow morning. Here's how that should look on radar by 9 p.m. A brief shower or two around Shelby, Chilton, Bibb, maybe a bit more down toward Hale County and Greene County and the northern part of Marengo County around 9 to 10 o'clock and a slightly better chance that you might get measurable rain from Tuscaloosa County southwest, but from Jefferson and Shelby St. Clair up toward Etowah Calhoun to the north. I don't think we're going to get that much. Barely a sprinkle up here close to Coleman and Jasper and north of there up toward the Huntsville area, Scottsboro, Fort Payne, and then by tomorrow morning it's already on the way out. So even if you did get a brief passing shower, it's probably going to happen before about 6 a.m. on Friday. Mostly cloudy tonight, a low chance of a shower. The temperature bottoms out in the low 40s before those showers begin to move in, and then we come up a degree or two to say 44, 45 degrees at the time the sun comes up. And then tomorrow afternoon actually looks pretty nice. A little warmer than today. A few rays of sunshine in between the clouds. The high up near 60 degrees. Starting in the upper 30s in Bayleton, mid 40s farther down to the south around Clanton, and then close to 60 tomorrow afternoon. Pell City to Barry, Coker, Moundville about 57. May start getting some thicker clouds from Moundville down toward Utah by tomorrow evening. And that could lead to some showers over the weekend. A partly cloudy sky Saturday should be beautiful. Sunday's high only around 58 with a better chance of some showers in the area. Iron Bowl weather looks good. Saturday afternoon at Jordan here should be bone dry. We're expecting 60s at kickoff, but 50s in the fourth quarter. So Saturday looks nice. Sunday brings in another chance of some showers. May get up to a quarter inch of rain in a few spots, especially south of Birmingham. Monday of next week after an Arctic cold front comes through, it's going to get a lot colder. We're forecasting low temperatures in the 20s by Tuesday morning, 30s on Wednesday and Thursday morning of next week.